Hey, my sisters, my kings and queens. Y'all ready for the movie today? Come on in with this Hollywood hood girl. All right, y'all. The production is Low Boy. They came back to visit. Mm -hmm. The director is these doggone turkey necks. Y'all already know it's going to be some sucking. Uh huh. And the camera is still Dell. We'll talk about the new one. <laughs> this is scene four. Take one. Let's roll the tape. Hello, my hustlers. Come on in. Bring your Kool-Aid, your cocktail, your water. Bring your food and snack. Let's sit and chat with this only one hood girl to the hood. All right, y'all. Uh, let's say prayers. And uh, we're going to dig in this bowl. And y'all can have anything y'all want, okay? Let's bow our heads, if you will. My God, my God, my God, there is power in your name, Lord. Thankful prayers is enough for today. Whatever, wherever we are in our lives, on these journeys, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for blessings and, my God, forgiveness, mercy, grace, suffering. Thank you. Thank you, God for being God all by yourself. Let this food be nourishment to my beautiful and healthy body. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wanted to, you know, uh, we got the low bar. Well, before I start talking, this bowl is hot. Wait. That bowl hot. But I, I need, I need y'all to, you know, pass the bowl, you know. Like I say, when we come together, we're going to be passing this food. Here, y'all. Take what you want. We got corn in there. We got some sausage in there. We have white potatoes. And, of course, we have the turkey necks. Mm-hmm. That's all you want. And, so, and some of this good old juice. Ooh. Now, tomorrow, I think I'm going to make a pot of rice. I put some rice down in there to suck up that, that juice, y'all. But so here, when I put the stuff in the bowl, uh, I always just sprinkle on a little. Slap your mama. Mm -hmm. Always. And then, of course, y'all already know that I'm going to do my hot sauce on my necks, that is. Oh, yeah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. My uh, Dallas daughter had reached out to me. And, and, and wanted me to do uh, the low ball for her. And, uh, but she is, she has COVID. Her name is Dana. So pray for her healing, if you will. But Dana, I had to cook these next. I couldn't keep them in the freezer too much longer. So, but no worries, my beautiful daughter. When you, when you heal, get healed first and we'll talk about it. I'll go back to the market and, you know, I will fix this again for you. Okay, y'all, I'm going to finish. I think I'm going to finish my big peach. I started with the big peach yesterday. I'm not really a soda water girl, a soda pop girl. So this may last me for three days. Y'all, that thunder is rolling again. And it's raining. I sure hope it don't cut my stuff off like it did the other day. But hey, y'all, how y'all doing today? I'm so glad that y'all came in. Come on, y'all. What y'all eating on? All right, look here. I have a couple of things to... This is a hand food. I brought a fork, maybe because it's hot. But look here, here goes. I went out and I bought the GoPro 7. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, my God. Mm. <clears throat> and that pepper that is so good y'all when I tell you that's good that's good so uh, I didn't know that you had to download the GoPro app on your phone I don't have any more storage on my phone that's why I don't videotape on my phone no more I didn't know you had to so y'all I'm going to have to take it back 
And I just don't know what to buy. Tell me, help me, please. Somebody help me. I don't know. Mm. 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 Y'all, I'm smacking. This is good. Before and uh, after the mix, I missed you on Sunday. I'm sure you was with your family, but we missed you. Oh, I got the hiccups. Sam, I am. Thank you for coming in. As told by Tina, Burns, uh, Jerry, Talks. Um, y'all already know I can't remember everybody. But all y'all that came to the, it was just a simple live, you know. But I'm glad that you came. It's a, a Harrison family vlogs. Uh, I had mentioned to him on that live, y'all. If y'all, uh, I will uh, tag him on the bottom in the description box. It's, it's Harrison's family vlogs. Um, he is very informative as well. He's he's very educated. He is a school teacher, and he's easy to look at as well. You know, he is single, y'all, for y'all ladies. Uh, you know who's who's ready you know to meet him uh, and yes Harrison uh, Harrison I'm going to be your date match <laughs> yeah yeah he really easy to look at mm -hmm. uh, he's a serious man at that so be ready get to know him first okay And he do hair. He was doing his son's hair. So ladies, you know, we all like our man playing our hair, don't we? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's a sweet thing. It's hot. I, mm -mm. I'm going to open that. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, that's hot. Glad I opened it. Mm-hmm. That's the same thing I do when I'm eating my uh, my uh, shrimp. I mean my shrimp ball, my seafood ball, y'all. Y'all, this is the first weekend I didn't do a seafood ball, but my daughter-in-law did do the crawfish ball for me. So thank you again, Nick, Nick, and David. Mm-hmm. Y'all. I would that y'all see me taking that skin out, but y'all already know, huh? Mm. I would days are not promised, you know. Get out, see the world, eat eat the cake, travel in your car, <laughs> you know. Love, find somebody to love, but let them be worthy of it as well. I'm just going to pick and pick. Got to be careful who you pick up these days. These fools is crazy out here. Men and women. I ain't just talking about the men, y'all. I'm talking about the women, too. Crazy. Mmm. I turned on the news today. And I was listening. You know, they had a script from, from Kanye West. Ain't that his name, Kanye? I have no words. What are we gonna do? These people who wanna be the president. I don't know y'all. Mm. You know, fresh corn, I always have a crunch cause I like mine. I don't like mine cooked too long. But I, that's a method when I do uh, my low ball as well, y'all. And I like fresh corn. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm. Mm. And the seasoning. Oh mm, my God. That's good. You know, these channels were made 
for us to eat. So I'm eating today. I'm not talking too much. That is good. Yeah, my napkin fell. Look here. Not no day is promised to us. And if you think about it right at this very, very moment, our next breath that we inhale is not even promised. Okay. Uh oh. So I'm going to say this again, my beautiful people, us, everybody, live as you are alive. Live, people, live. It doesn't matter what nobody else is saying, it doesn't matter what nobody else is doing. Do you to the fullest? Do you? And I'm gonna say it again. Get in your car, travel to a new town, wear your mask. You know, don't you know, you can wear your mask, but not while you're driving in the car. Eat the cake, eat the ice cream, drink the beer, drink the cocktail, run the track. Whatever you do, do it with life, y'all. It's short. It is. Mm. That hot sauce and them seasoning is just everything about this meal is just delicious, y'all. Mm -hmm. mm. And you got the suck. The meat off. Mm. That's good. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all, I know I'm smacking. But I told y'all, certain food, you can't eat pretty. <laughs> Y'all, these some leftover uh, sausages that was in that uh, crab, that uh, crawfish bowl, crawfish. Y'all, I told y'all yesterday I was tired of it, but you, you know, I don't like to waste no food. Have not, won't not. Mm, and it's really good. Let me tell y'all. I am happy. I am so freaking happy. I mean, happy. I have a job. I have a beautiful place to live. I have something to eat in the freezer, in the refrigerator. And the pantry that juice popped on my uh, glasses. Y'all see it? What do I have to complain about? When I think that people are out there with nothing. I don't have a boyfriend. I'm okay with that. I don't have a husband. I'm okay with that too. Lord knows I'm okay with that. So right now where I am on this journey, okay? Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Going through my celibacy. And I, you know, I'm proud to say that word. I, I, I love that word. You know, that means that, you know, ain't nobody doing no chaos in this coochie. Three years, baby. We're going on three years. I don't care. Mm -hmm. I 
But I also know that there's a reason that um we pray, I mean that we we dream. You know, dreams come to tell us some things as well. Because y'all remember in the Bible that there were dream interpreters. You know, for the kings that dreamed. And God sent them to people who can tell them what the dream meant. My dream about this boyfriend, this man that keep that, them dreams are a lot of them, yeah. But they're beautiful dreams. Oh my God, they're so beautiful, you know. That just tells me what I believe it tells me. I'll say that I'm not an interpreter of a dreams. That he God making me ready. You know, sometimes he he has to prepare you for what he's about to bring you. Ooh, hallelujah. And that's just not in a relationship. You know, that's you know, jobs, you know, new homes, new everything. He has to prepare you to get ready for it. You know, and sometimes when we go through these storms and we pray about some things and we don't get it real fast and sometimes you know god don't give it to us at all he just says that you ain't ready my darling and that is not what i was gonna give you because you're doing that selfish prayer and that's not what i have set before you so when we go through these long journeys of praying for something and we don't get it it's just god saying yes no or not yet you know but I know these dreams are telling me that he's getting me ready because he knows the love that I have to, to share. He knows the compassion that I have, you know, and he knows my uh, submission that I can give with a husband, not a bar friend. Bar friend do not have husband duties. I'll say that again. If we are dating, we're dating Dating means we're trying to learn each other before we, you know, get that tidy. Baby, would you be my girlfriend circle? Yes or no? No. Hell no, because I don't know you. It takes time to get to know people. Everybody want to go on three or four dates and want to be, you know, then you want to tie them. What you know about them in three or four weeks? What do you know? What's the favorite color? What's the favorite food? What's his dislike? What pisses him off and makes him angry? And vice versa. What kind of relationship did his mama and daddy have? How many kids did he have? And, and how? And if he got a lot of kids, how many baby mamas do he have? Because that means he's he's did sex unprotective with a whole lot of people. Okay, get to know. Get to know who you want to be with and who you want to call your boyfriend or who you want to call your girlfriend. You better get to know him because these days crazy people come up. You know, and they, they don't always come crazy in the beginning. You know, everybody try to put their they best person first. Hmm, you better, you better befriend them long enough to see that other real person come out. Because it got to come out. You can only stay in the closet for so long. So, uh, get, to know, get, to know your, get to know your person. You know, go on trips. You know? Yeah. You know, do it like soap and water. Do it like to smell good. Do he like to dress good? You know? Because no man can come into my world with their pants hanging. Do you respect your elders? That's what I want to know. I want to know so many things, you know? All the rest can wait. Because I know that once we get to know each other and then we like each other, then we're we going to have something very powerful. Powerful. But I want to get to know my man so good, my to potential man, I'll say that. That after all the dates and all this other stuff, that when we sit down on this sofa or his sofa or any damn body sofa, I can look at him and want him and desire him. You know, I want to get, I want to meet somebody that when once we get to know each other, I can't live my life without you. That's the feeling I want. That I can't stand to be without you, baby. That's what I want. 
And I want him to have the same thing. I don't want to sit on the sofa and then you look over to what could possibly be your husband and look and say, I don't even like him. God damn it, what I'm doing? You don't want that. Mm -hmm. And if you look uh, over to him with any disdain in your mind, then it's, it, it ain't supposed to be. Mm -hmm. I want a man to look at me and say, damn girl, I just can't see myself living without you. And I want to be able to, to, to tell him the same thing. Shit, you, I, shit, I'll be like, you too? <laughs> mm -hmm. But it takes time. It takes patience. It takes dating. It takes communication. Okay. Oh, look at him. I look down. I'm a whole minute over time, y'all. But you know, some things you all already know when I'm passionate, I can run my mouth a thousand miles a minute. So come on. We'll finish this another day. Thank y'all. My sister soldiers and my sister brothers and my kings and queens. Yeah. I love y'all. Let's sing ourselves out. Y'all ready? Okay. It's time to say goodbye for now. We'll have a second chance around. On the other side. So whatever. Whatever you do today. Do it good. And love. And love. Bye y'all. Don't forget live. Okay. Without a limit. Live.